DS software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.redslibrary.com Hi everybody, Professor Mohamed Shah with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about wind turbine model. Uh, what is the main concept? Uh, what is the power calculations? How can we run our model uh, via its library? Uh, first of all, wind power is a, is a conversion of wind energy into a useful form of energy, such as using wind turbines to make electrical power, wind mills for mechanical power, wind pumps for water pumping. Uh, a large wind farm uh, may consist of several hundred of individual wind turbines uh, which are connected to the electric power transmission network. Offshore wind turbines can harness more frequent and uh, powerful winds than are available uh, to land-based installations and have less visual impact on the landscape, but construction costs are uh, considerably uh, higher. Small onshore wind facilities are used to provide electricity to isolated uh, locations or remote areas. Wind turbines, wind turbine is a machine in order to convert kinetic energy uh, in wind into mechanical energy. Uh, suppose, like mechanical energy like windmills, uh, wind turbines, uh, the current uh, wind turbines is uh, uh, it, it, it's a gearbox inside, embedded inside in order to uh, connect it to uh, a gener generator unit in order to generate electricity we have two main uh, uh, types of wind turbines we have horizontal axis wind turbines as you can see here this three blades wind turbines most efficient and we have here uh, vertical axis wind turbines uh, uh, the parts of wind turbines um, as you can see, uh, we have blades, uh, rotors, um, uh, hub, diameter, uh, brake system, uh, gearbox, generator, controller, uh, uh, and uh, wind vane, and yaw system, or oh, yaw system, and uh, sure, uh, the tower. As you can see here, uh, there's a difference between uh, uh, horizontal axis and vertical axis. As you can see, this is the diameter, rotor diameter, and this is the tower, gearbox, hub, hub height, and this is not a blade. We can, for vertical, we can call this fin lens. We have two fins, we have three, up to f f six fins. Uh, actually, the advantage of this one, is it can rotate at any direction of wind because it's vertical. There is no need for... Uh, for the tail or, uh, or wind vane, uh, but the little power is, is quite uh, quite lower than uh, horizontal axis. Uh, according to uh, uh, the application, we can categorize our uh, wind turbines. For small, lower than uh, 10 kilowatts, it's for homes, uh, farms, some specific facilities. An intermediate one is up to 250 kilowatts for village power hybrid system and so on. Large scale, it's up to 2 megawatts, maybe up to uh, 8 megawatts. It's center station with the farms, uh, offshore, uh, distributed power, uh, and so on. Power calculations. Uh, for power calculations, w we need to, to discover this, this parameter. It's uh, the available power. This is actual power and this theoretical power. Actual power is equal to uh, these parameters or, or the theoretical power multiplied by power coefficient or the efficiency. Uh, as you can see here, we have the, uh, it's a function of uh, density, swept area, the swept area, swept area of blades. This is the radius, uh, radius uh, uh, and time uh, and Finally, after uh, uh, substitution in these equations uh, for kinetic energy equation and so on, we have to consider this uh, formula. Uh, the available power is uh, 1 over 2 density multiplied by sort area, uh, uh, rated wind speed, and a power coefficient. Let's see this simple exam example about this. For instance, we have here uh, suppose we, we have a blade length 52 
uh, wind speed it is 12 meter per second air density constant or coefficient efficiency 0.4 and we we are going to discover uh, what is the, uh, the available power that we can gain from uh, these specifications as you can see here uh, from the blade lens or rotor uh, radius we can uh, estimate uh, our area this is our swept area 8000 and then we can multiply this area by uh, uh, wind speed and bulk coefficient therefore finally we have here 3.6 megawatts of power actually our model is completely different because we we have uh, it's the opposite of this suppose we have the power uh, i need to generate 3.6 okay 3.6 what is the area what is the work coefficient what is the needed or uh, available wind speed this we are going to discover this is our model it's a design model it's uh, it's caring about what is the hub height what is the rotor diameter what is uh, the swept area what is the axial force but it's a simple model but uh, very impressive because we have to assign just to one parameter just one parameter is about the investor needs to generate uh, suppose 1000 kilowatts or 1 megawatts or 2 megawatts what is the design aspects or what is the farm dimension that you are going to uh, to deal with okay uh, this is our model as you can see here this is MATLAB our model uh, double click on it go to your destination folder and uh, your model should be appear like this one okay okay uh, first of all double click on this you have to choose between horizontal axis or vertical axis let's start with uh, a single point uh, uh, calculation with horizontal axis turbine let's go here okay double click on horizontal action turbine uh, first of all you have to assign air temperature and air pressure uh, yes we are going to uh, suppose we are going to uh, generate 3 megawatt and 600 kilowatts uh, but you have to assign number of wind turbines suppose I need to us to I need uh, uh, 50 wind turbine uh, units let's go inside our model and see this is horizontal with turbine yes let's hit run and see our results i'm sorry this is a um, uh, dynamic model we don't need this is a dynamic model uh, i'm going to set my simulation time for zero and hit run again yes okay as you can see here uh okay for uh, uh, 3600 uh, kilowatts uh, you have to and 50 uh, um, uh, 50 uh, number of turbine units is 50 therefore you are going to use uh, uh, the module power is 72 kilowatt I'm going to the market and I will ask for uh, one, uh, 72 kilo per one uh, wind turbine power generation and this one is going to to use uh, 3 meter per second starting with the speed 15 average with the speed uh, rotor diameter is uh, 18 meters almost hub height 20 uh, uh, 20 meters uh, and rotor speed is uh, 76 turbine cost is around uh, uh, 2000 let's go here this is our air mass uh, rotor swept area axial force torque wind power this is the wind power that you are going to harvest and this bulk coefficient this bulk coefficient sorry and this is the total cost and this is farm dimension spacing in x direction spacing in y direction and this is total area suppose I am going to uh, uh, I need 5000 megawatts. Let's go and see here. 5000 5000 kilowatts, I'm sorry. Let's go and see. 
Okay, as you can see here, uh, efficiency is a little bit increased. Uh, we need 100 meg kilo per meteor. We need, uh, you are going to the market and ask for, I need uh, 100 meteor uh, kilowatt. And this is our results. As you can see here, this is uh, hop height, rotor speed, and, and costs. Okay, and so on. Okay, let's go for uh, vertical wind turbine one. I, I'm sitting infinity time. I'm going to discover this. But first of all, I have to select vertical wind turbine. And let's go here. Okay. Suppose I am going to use um, module. It's uh, okay for vertical one. Uh, uh, the category is from 0.2 kilowatts up to 50 kilowatts. Okay, I'm going to generate 500 kilowatts. Okay, 500 kilowatts. Let's go and see dynamically uh, if we change the power category. In vertical wind turbine model, uh, uh, in horizontal one, you can choose number of um, number of wind turbines, but here we can select the power category of each module. Let's hit run and see uh, with a little bit of change here. I'm going to change the power module, increasing the power. I'm increasing, as you can see here, changing air mass, and I'm going for this is five kilowatt category. Let's go for ten kilowatts. This ten kilowatts category for uh, yes, ten for five hundred kilowatt uh, power. Okay, here we are going to to discover how many turbines we are going to use, and up to 20 kilowatts per module and rise up changing data that's up, up to 50 kilowatts i'm going to 50 kilowatts for 50 i think we are going to use uh, just 10 turbine let's just stop here okay let's okay this is our air mess okay uh, rated wind speed, start wind speed, uh, fill lens, diameter, rotor uh, diameter, uh, RBM, torque. This is 10, 10 uh, wind turbines for um, for 50 kilowatt module, sure, and this cost voltage. Let's go uh, dynamic and see. As you can see, this number of blades, increasing number of blades, okay, and this is number of wind turbine using, used, okay, okay, increasing power will cause a decrease of number of wind turbine, air mass flow rates, okay, increasing because you are increasing the blades swept area, uh, this is a starting wind speed, and this is a rated wind speed. Uh, what do you have here? Uh, voltage. Uh, this is cost. Cost of wind turbine. Rotor diameter. Uh, swept area. Fan length. Uh, RBM. This torque. Or we have here with the power. Or we have as his efficiency. Efficiency. And so on. Okay, uh, finally, we we, uh, we have to say that we have a model that you can uh, simply assign uh, just to the power, the total power of the, your plant. For horizontal, you can assign a uh, number of wind turbines. For vertical, you can assign the module power, just it. And you can uh, go to the market and discover uh, which type you are uh, going to deal with based on uh, your load and all specifications you can get. Don't forget to download the uh, uh, solar thermal power for multi-stage flash. This is not a ranking cycle. This is indirect vapor generation from uh, parabolic trough solar field uh, via intermediate tonic polarity exchanger. And uh, the steam is going to the brine heater and to power on uh, multi-stage flash. Uh, finally, I uh, would like to thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.